Alright, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is Bullet RC coming at you guys again with another video. Now last week you guys know I had dropped a video on Black Market and I hope you guys were, were around for that and caught that video because they were offering another 40% off even on sale items. It was 40% off the whole site. And uh, once again, man, thank you to Black Market USA for that deal. If you, got, if you guys want to check it out, I will leave a link down below to the site if you missed it from last week. Unfortunately, you kind of snoozed and you kind of lost too. But um, anyways, I'm going to show you what I got. Um, and also, some of this stuff in this pack is my cousin's too. But I mean, I don't think he'll mind if I show some of his stuff too as well. Um, I think it's all 10 deep. Me and him are big 10 deep fans. So kind of runs in the family so somewhat, very slight. But as you guys see, I got this big box. Getting into this one, unwrap it, and let's go ahead and set this thing down over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw, go through some of his stuff first, just in case he shows up and like needs it while I'm doing this video. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first off, I guess we can go ahead and get into this jacket right here. Um, this is his, it is not mine. I think he was copying this just for a, kind of like a fall and winter re-up when it comes back around this year. Um, this is a 10 deep jacket. Um, it has a zipper, but also has kind of like a, of course it's more of a racer's jacket. There's no hood, there's just a regular collar. But as you guys can see, I think it's called the Final Lab Jacket. Definitely a racing NASCAR inspired jacket. It says Super Sport on the side. Um, and the S's are actually cash symbols, as you guys can see on the side of this one. Um, all this, Super Sport, Triple X's for 10 Deep. A whole bunch of different 10 Deep logoing on the back of this. All this of this is embroidered. And this is a thick jacket. This is, jacket is a lot thicker than what I thought it would be. Um, this usually retails at $187, and he got it for 40% off. So not exactly half, but about 100 to 110, which is still a great deal on it. Um, with all, all this embroidery, um, a lot of padding on the inside. Once fall and winter roll back around, I think he's gonna be definitely good with this one. So this was a good pickup by him. I already have enough black jer jackets, so I didn't grab that. I was looking for more spring and summer stuff. Um, also, really hope he doesn't un uh, mind me <laughs> um, bagging his stuff too. I think he'll be cool with it. Um, he had copped this right here. Uh, this is of course another hoodie from 10 Deep. As you guys can see, it's an all over print and it kind of has like this um, dirt bike kind of race all over it. And what I did like about this one, and once again, this isn't mine, it's my cousin's. Um, the bottom isn't super scrunchy. Instead, it just has two drawstrings right here. As I said before, with my crew necks, like crew neck sweaters and stuff, I don't like them because they're just way too scrunched up at the bottom. I just don't like it when it's like wide and it scrunches up at the bottom. It just looks kind of weird to me, I don't know. But that's why I like the bottom of this one. Um, I was gonna pick this up, but like I said, I was looking for more t-shirts and stuff. But this is a dope one, all over print as you guys can see. I had the jersey to match this. Um, I forgot what this one's called. I forgot the exact name for this one, but I do have the jersey to match. But that was another one of his pickups, this 10 deep hoodie, clean. He's got good taste. Next up, um, his last item I think was a pair of pants, and they are actually down here. Um, these are like, these are interesting. Does he have a name on it? Yeah. Oh, these are from, I thought these were from Tindy, but these are actually from Dope Couture or Dope Culture, whichever one you want to go with. It's a satin jogger in black. Um, as you guys can see, it's an all black jogger, but it looks clean. It almost has like a wax look from here, but they are, of course, the satin material, so it's super smooth. Um, very luxe feeling and these ones actually do have the cargo pockets on the side um, Something that I do like about joggers when they have the cargo pockets um, And also these don't really have a uh, drop crotch like a regular jogger does it seems like they're more fitted like a regular um, Cargo pants, which is always a plus in my opinion um, I probably now looking at these should have cop some just because I need a new black pair of joggers my Zane Rogue ones are uh, They've been through the wash a lot. They're like off black. I said off black. They're washed out black. What is off black? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all his stuff. So let's go ahead and get into stuff I grabbed. First off, I'm gonna start with this hat. Uh, this hat is from a brand called, hopefully my box doesn't fall again, um, Cave Empt. And uh, from what I understand, the brand, um, some of the people that run the brand or one of the heads or something around that matter, um, had dealings with Billionaire Boys Club, Bape, and all of that. Um, so this hat is actually super expensive. Now what you're seeing, this hat right here, 
um, is 85 bucks usually retail and I was not going to spend $85 so when they had the 40% off I said whatever I'll drop the 50 it's something unique um, and there's a lot of different embroidery on it there's you know different details and stuff like that and um, it's kind of like a it's a newer brand um, so I was like yeah let me go ahead and hop onto this um, and just you know try it out I just liked it I mean one thing I will say about this is that the strap is actually just an extension of the material of the hat which is probably more of a let's see because I actually can tell if I just look at the hat um, maybe I can't no maybe I can't I just see Shibuya Tokyo Japan uh, made in China K vimped but the hat seems nice you know I guess I can take off my don't pay attention to my hair because this joint is not straight and uh, there you go you guys can kind of see seems like the front of the crown is kind of high though so I might have to throw this one on backwards um, but as you can see man it's a clean hat but for 85 I wasn't gonna cop it but for 40% off I said why not I just guess I just keep it on so then next up I'm not sure if this one yeah this one's mine um, black market USA actually had a I'm not sure if it's gonna be a collection or their own brand called the move um, and it was actually sure I really liked if you guys can see on the front it just says the move small and red and I did cop both of mine in a large these shirts do feel very nice uh, very thin kind of and not thin in a bad way um, but thin as in breathable on the back you guys can see it says squad and the move now I do like this shirt but I'm gonna be completely 100 I think they could have went without the squad in the top but at the same time I can completely understand someone liking something like that because just like my jacket me and Tony's jacket I like the savage in the back and some people don't it is one of those things you know some people are gonna like the little details some people aren't this is what it is but all in all I thought the shirt was dope you guys can see on the back it says the move with the cowboy and the horse I saw it was a clean black shirt you know something easy to rock it's easy to throw on next up um, I should have a white shirt in here or a few more white shirts so let me go ahead and lay that one down we have another shirt from the move collection slash brand from black market um, and this one is all white as you guys see on the front oh you can't even see it it does say the move and kind of a mint blue color like I said man it's really hard to see from where y'all are at um, there's no even shadow I can really do this show you guys but on the back it does have a palm tree and you guys can a little bit see it in the back it says the move right there on the palm tree um, and once again squad on the top I just another clean spring tee all white kind of a mint blue almost a sea foam blue on the front palm trees on the back you know and a good difference of uh, colors back here palm trees kind of have colors from greens to blues to yellows there's a little orange in here too um, so I can mix it up when I'm wearing this shirt another white shirt we have right here is from Stussy um, I caught this one in size large and like I said before I caught both of those move shirts in size large as well this one is a floral tee now they had a black floral tee that I wanted and I thought the black looked better but it didn't have the black there was just a stocking error so I went ahead and went with the white um, on the front as you guys can see if I get a little bit more close up on the front it says Stussy of course all of New York Los Angeles Tokyo London Paris but I really like the old floral look in the back and kind of how it overlaps some of the words on the actual um, logo all white shirt is pretty basic 40% off though couldn't really pass up I just really like the print and design on this one this is a dope shirt and once I shrink it it's not gonna be that bad I mean you know the ink is gonna fade but that's just what it is so let's go ahead and get into this right here this will be the last shirt from this one and this one's from billionaire boys club um, I have a few BBC shirts um, actually I had a lot from before and I used to get them in mediums but what I learned with BBC is that it does fit a little small in my opinion especially after you wash it um, I think they shrink on you like like super easy they will shrink on you so this one I got is in a size large I think it's called the 8-bit joint let me see if I can let me see oh the Diginot T as you guys can see it's kind of a digital look on the astronaut from uh, billionaires boys clubs on the front and it's a interesting blue color um, I want to say it's a green but it also just looks like a teal blue um, like a dark teal blue so it's really hard to get the color here but if you guys go check it out or if it still is available or if they drop another sale I'll try to drop some info on my Twitter or Instagram on the back it says billionaire boys club as well in that Diginot print sort of that more digital look but anyways guys that was my pickups uh, or my pickup video basically got some tin deep um, got some billionaire boys club some move 
I get the move from Black Market USA came in on my head and um, yeah man I just went ahead and did a little bit more flourishing hopefully you guys found that 4% off code useful I know a lot of people have been hitting me up on Twitter Instagram tagging me like yo thanks for the code and everything so if you do post a picture tag me let me know I'll make sure I drop a like you know drop a favorite on Twitter retweet whatever I need to do so anyways guys so much love to all the fam followers and supporters you guys can follow me on Instagram Twitter SoundCloud my Twitter just went off um, snups at bullet RC y'all be easy um, you know see you guys in the next video and like I said man if I get a word on any other sales or something I will let you guys know the quickest probably through Instagram and Twitter see you on the next video Peace. it was Friday with a night with a situation my nigga chased mama cow cuz he missed that graduation he told him mama